Hello everyone, it's Matt Master Gamer here and welcome back to more Epic Mickey. In the last episode, we went through the uh, Gremlin Village, I think, yep, yep. <laughs> it's, it's been a while since I recorded now. Um, we went through the Gremlin Village and uh, we got some stuff. We climbed up a windmill, I think. Or was it a lighthouse? I can't even remember anymore. Anyway, uh, welcome back to Epic Mickey. Uh, in this episode, uh, we will be exploring this place, which I've forgotten what it's called. Hello there, Block Lane. Get What's it called again? I know you're a splatter. Hey, why did you just hit the good one? Hey, no, no, no. You're supposed to be. You should be hitting this guy. But c come back. Come back. No. No, he's just. Whoa, he's really quick. Look, just you. Why don't you just go into the thin? There we go. That's much simpler. There we are. Yay! We have made everyone our friend now. And anyway, if one can remember, we need to get up here. But we got to make sure we do not spin the Wii remote. Because if we do, this whole tower will collapse, which is not a good thing. <laughs> By good thing, I mean it's a bad thing for the thinner path, so or the villain path, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, doing that gear will make the thinner pool um, not be a big welcome. Pretty nice. What's down here? Um, do I thinner any of this out for any purpose? Or nope. Okie dokie then. So where do we want to go now? Do we want to go to the Eiffel Tower? I do believe we want to go to the Eiffel Tower. Yes! So we've been to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And that really did not work. Wow, that was ridiculous. Give me paint! Get him quickly! There we go. That did work after all. Get him! And you really do need to use a lot of paint on these guys. That's definitely one bad thing about this game. Because they take a lot of hits. To defeat. Are you are you throwing thinner at them? Look, okay, you just go into the thinner then. I've had enough with being really good. It can be kind of bad if you want to. To get up to this cloud. Why do I want to go up to this cloud anyway? Is it just to get some stuff? Oh no! Oh! Yay! The cloud's taking me up! Yay! Oh! Oh no, not yet! I'm gonna go on top of the leaning. the leaning tower. It's the Eiffel Tower. These support beams are toon. Yeah, I know they are. Um, I think if you thinner them out, something bad happens, so I'm not going to. Yeah. Um, so I don't want to go up here? <laughs> is it just to do something bad? Or is, no, there isn't There isn't anything else I can do up here. Okay then, that's fine. So just jump from one cloud to the next. Ooh. Oh, by the way, if you took that other um, the other screen, you would go over to there. So, yeah, that gives you a clue of where that takes you. Oh dear. Oh, there's a chest over there, though. I want that chest. We all want that chest. Oh, don't. Ow! Don't hit me. Twice. Three times. Ouch. Hurt. Excuse me, I'm gonna open this chest to get a bronze. Oh, a silver pin. Okay. I do. That cheered me up a bit. There we are. Yeah, you're now my friend. What else is in this? Yay. Full paint again. Oh, now where are we? We should attempt to get inside the Colosseum. Try to get closer and search for a way in. And that's Os Oswald again. I almost said Iswalt for some reason. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> Iswalt. What? Whatever. So yeah, you would have got a very quick shortcut if you went the other way. Last time. 
But if you went the long way like me, then, uh, well, you don't really get anything. Really, because, um, really just to do bad things is pretty much all you really need to do over there, so kind of should have, uh, done that maybe. I feel like I've missed something, though. I'm going back. Hmm. I did not find anything. Actually, wait a second, I just realised that I have the volume on my TV up. Let me turn that down. There we are. <laughs> I, I thought something was echoing. Huh. I did. You didn't notice anything, but I did. There was a big volume thing. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm going to paint these gears back in. Because I know I missed a chest earlier where if I painted back the gears in, then it would have been able to get the chest. And I didn't, so I feel like silly. Wasted all my dinner. Ooh. Do the right time. Is that good timing? Oh, yep, perfect. No. Paint. No. There we go. <laughs> Gotta paint the right thing in. Ah. Uh -uh. Don't run out of paint. Do. Next. Right. Is this gonna work this time? Yay, it actually worked for once. You know what? Let's just do it this way. It's easier. First person mode is easier. And bad camera angles. Okay. Now we are in the Coliseum. Oh dear, why was there an evil laugh? Uh oh. Mm. Hey, Mickey. You did it. I might have misjudged you. But watch out, because my cousin over one mean street, no, on mean street, makes me like a cuddly little kitten. Oh, and help yourself to some treasure. As for me, time to go. Because we helped him and we got his book back, um. Uh, he's gonna let, let us have this treasure, but if you didn't get the book back, he then tries to kill you with loads of blocklings. Be careful. Ooh, a room full of treasure! Yes, I know. Yay, paint. Oh, now we've got to get back to the treasure room. Because somehow it teleported us all the way back down. See, these things would have given you the blocklings, and it would have been a big mess of lotlings. Really. To this platform. Oh no, we didn't reach it. Can I, can I reach that platform at all? Or it doesn't look like it. No, I cannot. Oh, just pushed me all the way down again. Whoops. Uh, there was another problem with my capture card, so yay. Open this chest. And we get another bronze pin! Yay. Oh wow, I just wrecked those... <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. Whoa. I'm completely annihilating them. Ooh. What's it? Content. Extra content unlocked. Yay! And now we've... Wow, we've got 500 tickets. So I've done that. More tickets. And now let us leave. And I believe we're going to battle our first boss. Not sure though. There might be another room left. But I'm sure we are almost done. Is the room I'm looking for? Or... Oh, that's how you get in, apparently. There must be two ways of getting in. Oh, I see. There's um, some up there. Okay, that's where we need to go. So let's go. Is it? Yep, yeah, here we go. Easy. At least we didn't have as much trouble as finding the chest room. Oh, we didn't have m much trouble finding the exit. The chest room. Anyway, time 
to face the clock tower. Well, actually, first we've got a Steamboat Willie Part 3, I think, to get through. Yeah, I think it's Part 3. A lot of parts to Steamboat. Whoa, that was a weird glitch. Almost as weird as the Super Mario Galaxy 2 one, but it's a different let's play altogether. Thank you, cow. Use these again. Oh, oh, need to reach that. Yes. Another theme reel. Theme reel? Film reel? <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Another part. Is there anything we need to be careful of around here? I forget. Oh, yep, there's uh, cannibals. And also this guy. Ow. Which pushes us all the way down. Ouch. Whatever. Wait, is there anything up there? Uh, no, I don't think we can get up there. And if it is, it's just tickets, because we've already got the film reel. Anyway, time to face our first boss. The Clock Tower. He's a pretty cool boss. He's quite difficult in um, normal mode. This, this is normal mode. I mean, hero mode, not normal mode. Here we go. He's got a cool uh, genius, genius boss. Ooh. So what you need to do is you need to paint in, ouch, the hands. You've got to make sure they don't kill you as well. And you need to paint in both of them to do this. But that's not the easiest thing in the world to do. No. Because the paint likes to rub off. Ow! Goodness, what's... This is... This is difficult. But it only rubs off when they're fully done. So if you fully paint them in, um, then it will start rubbing off and it gets really difficult then. So what the trick is to make this boss really easy is to paint both of them in almost done. So then when one of them is painted, you then paint the other one really quickly. It's quite easy way of doing it. it makes life a whole lot easier as I just said an easy way of doing it makes a whole lot easier what I'm getting my words tangled up yeah. and just jump when he does the slam attack Ooh. quickly paint this one in and now they're both done before that's finished oh I was hoping to get some more paint but I will I don't think he needs that much paint. On the wall? Oh dear. Just paint his face in. And once you've done that, which I hadn't done, oh dear. Paint it in, paint it in. Oh no, it's not enough paint. I don't have enough paint. Yes! I have enough paint. Quest complete. The clock tower. This is our first boss done. Things seem to be ticking right along now. Alright, now. I didn't know he was going to talk. I thought he was an inanimate object that could move. Most clocks don't talk. Your paint or thin capacity can change based on how you deal with important cha characters in Wasteland. And because we've been hero, we got our paint capacity increased. And we've now received a new item. Stop the music pin. Stop the music... Wait, what? Sorry, I, I have to look that up. Stop the music pin? That doesn't even make any sense. Stop the music pin. Restore the clock tower. Well, okay. <laughs> what if you turn him evil forever? He's makes music. Huh? I have no idea. But anyway, that's it for the first part of the game. We're now we're now in the main hub land. Well we will be after this cutscene. Is this a theme park? Oswald copied it based uh, at best he could. The characters. Pretty much he's about to tell us about this world. It's a beautiful world for all the forgotten characters in the Disney land. 
and um, something bad happened before the Theater disaster. And this was actually Mickey Mouse's fault, as you know in the first cutscene where he made, he destroyed the world with dinner. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, it killed that guy! Oh dear. Oh dear. The blood of a lot arrived and they're taking over the world. So Oswald decided to fix it up a bit. Welcome to Mean Street, our main hub. So, um, it's all our fault, pretty much, that this world is destroyed. And Oswald kind of already knows that, which is what the problem is. And so does Mickey. Or does he? I forget. I might have just spoiled part of the game, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the point of this game is to restore the land or destroy it even more. Hello, Uncle Gus. Good to see you, Marcus. By any chance, have you seen Oswald lately? Last time I saw him, he was headed toward the projector screen at the end of the street. But those have been broken for a long time now. Together, Pete and Horace could fix them, but they're likely to want something in return for their help. I can get the projector screen running again if you get me a pair of gears. Well, I went Australian then. A pair of gears, sorry. Horace can probably be found in the detective agency. I know he has one. Pete used to brag about his gear. He's usually hanging around City Hall. I'm waiting outside the Penny Arcade. Come see me when he has those gears. I wonder if the Penny Arcade is called something else in America. Like the cent... the dollar arcade or something. I don't know. So, quest adge added projector screen. You just got a quest. There are lots of quests for someone like you in Wasteland. You can always see your quests by going to the pause menu and pressing the plus button. I've done that plenty of times. So I'm going, I'm going to do it again. Oh, you got to press 2 first. I'm going to do it again. And look, Oswald's projector screen. We already get two gears. But we're going to do that in the next episode, though. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we start exploring Mean Street and get those two gears. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.